You'll need six Pop-Tarts to make this gingerbread house, whatever flavor you like. I chose strawberry because I thought the icing and sprinkles looked like snow with Christmas lights, and brown sugar cinnamon to go for a more traditional looking gingerbread house. You'll also need buttercream frosting and then any candy you want for decorating your house. Cut two of the Pop-Tarts to form the roof line on the front and back of the house. I like to use one Pop-Tart on its side as a guide for how low the angled cut should go. After I have one cut, I just use that as a guide for cutting the second one. And they don't have to be perfect, it'll be fine if the roof lines are not perfectly symmetrical. Take one of the whole Pop-Tarts and on the back side, pipe frosting on each end. And then repeat with the second Pop-Tart. Take one of the cut Pop-Tarts and push that lightly into the frosting on the side piece. Attach the other cut piece to the back end. Take the other frosted side piece and press that gently into the front and back pieces. You can gently move the pieces around to make sure they are straight and lined up how you want them. Pipe frosting onto the roof line of one half of the house. Take another Pop-Tart and press that gently onto the frosting. Repeat on the other side of the house with the last Pop-Tart. And there you go, you have a Pop-Tart gingerbread house. You can clean up any excess frosting on it if you want, just gently wiping it with your finger. Once the frosting has dried, the house will be sturdy enough to decorate. Then, have fun decorating!